Hello and welcome to the channel everybody, I'm Jason Thorm and today I'm going to be talking about the cheap button box slash info display thing for your sim rig. Your sim rig isn't quite as elaborate as this one. Maybe your sim rig is just a table and a G29 with a screen in front. I don't know, but hey, you're in sim racing. That's all that counts, right? You're cool, like me. I'm wearing this hat because I haven't done my hair today. So I thought I'd just cover it up and you won't notice. Generally, any time you see me with a cap in my videos, that's that's what it means. Can't be bothered doing my hair today. Well, there is a lot of buttons here, and a lot of it. I've got my keyboard over here, but and I've put like anti roll bar and all that on here, but I can never remember what buttons they are. I debated getting a button box, and button boxes were like a hundred dollars or whatever, and it was just to be honest. I didn't want to spend the money. And on top of that, I also wanted to know some details that instead of flicking through certain screens like the in-car adjustments and tyres and fuel and all that, um, having to go over to the keyboard and sh go onto whatever screen I want or flick through it, ding, 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 and oh, I skipped that one by accident. Just, uh, ah, skipped it again. All to find out how close I am to the car ahead or something. So, I found a better solution. And that's called Sim Dashboard. And let me, let me show you it. I'll change your, your view here. So here is Sim Dashboard. Well, this is my Sim Dashboard anyway. I've made this from scratch. You can also make whatever one you want. You can have tacos and dashes and whatever you want really. Um, I'll go into edit this for a second. Add widget. So you got all like tire temp, fuel wear, brake bias, fuel left, tank level, average fuel lap, fuel remaining to end of race, etc, etc, speed, throttle, brake, you can have all these gauges on here, g-force meters, current power, current torque, oil temp, oil pressure, water temp, pit limiter on, engine warning, DRS, etc, current lap, last lap, best lap, sector times, personal best times, live deltas, sector 3, all that stuff qualifying, current flag LED, position, distance to car ahead. It can go into quite a bit of a de detail. Weather, track, temp, wind, button box. You can do a few different buttons and switches and all that here. And then you can do random text boxes, clocks, even pop-ups, so when you change your brake bias, it just pops up. This has quite a bit of customization to it too. This, for instance, let's go in and edit that. So you can choose what key it does. You got background color, active color, no rounded corners. You can go to rounded corners, um, line color, active color, stroke width, text, font, font color, font size aspect ratio, all that stuff, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, turn it around, do whatever you want. It's all customizable. This is simply my screen. Now you can add another page if you wanted to and flip to another page. However, 
Um, I've just kept all this on one page. I want to make it simple. I've got my anti-roll bar settings here, plus and minus on the front, plus and minus on the rear. Oh, I think I just changed that. Uh, you know, in iRacing, sorry, thanks. Accidentally punt someone. <laughs> Press the sorry. Brake bias, tire temps, tire wear. Fuel icon comes up when I'm uh, needing fuel. Time to car ahead, time to car behind. Average fuel consumption per lap. My fuel consumption last lap, fuel remaining, fuel needed to get to the end of the race. That's the main stuff I wanted, at least on my iRacing setup anyway. You can do different dashboards to suit different games. You can, once you design, you can share your own design if you wanted to. So here we've got some templates. Uh, let's go browse templates. We've got a whole ton of templates here. With all water temps and all that on there if you wanted that. 2010 SLS GT3 dash. When you go in here you can choose... Like, people have made this up. An F1 2019. That looks like a good one. McLaren F1 team. Project Cars 2. Look at this. Beautiful. You don't even have to make your own dash like I did. So as you can see here, these are some of the games that are supported. We've got F1 2019, Dirt Rally 2.0, Ascendo Corsa Competizione, Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa UDP, Forza Horizon, Forza Motorsport, Project Cars 2, Race Room, iRacing, Euro Truck Simulator, tons, tons. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, R Factor 2, all the main ones are all on there. Now, all you really need to get this going. I just, this old tablet has been sitting in my wardrobe for literally years doing nothing. I was nearly about to throw it out. And so I grabbed it, I put it on this articulating arm that I bought off eBay for not much. I can't remember how much it was. And it's just got a clamp that I've clamped onto my sim rig. And this articulating arm is technically meant for cameras and camera lights and things like that. I have it hooked up to a tablet mount that I screwed on here. And then I put my tablet in there. And voila, we have a kind of movable button box slash information screen here. Out of this, what was pretty useless tablet I had sitting around. And you don't need a tablet. This will work with phones as well. This is an Android tablet. Even if you don't have an old tablet lying around, use your phone. Put in a phone mount. Plug it in and there's your, there's your dash. Cheap, easy, extra information. Now this app, when, once you download it, it will come with a free trial. The free trial will allow you to view speed, RPM, I think one other thing, I can't remember what it is. But if you want all data, then you have to pay an extra, I think for me it was about $15 Australian, which to be honest isn't too bad. When you consider everything you're getting here, all for, what, $15 Australian? I'd pay that. In fact, I did pay that. And as you can see, I've actually set up the background to be my rev limiter. My shift light, sorry. Look at my fuel remaining go down. <laughs> you may be wondering, how does all this work? Well, with Sim Dashboard, once you download the app, uh, it'll take you through a bit of an install process. 
not only with the tablet but with your computer as well because your tablet and your PC need to speak to each other uh, quite quickly even though this is an old tablet I mean this is only running like Android 5.0 um, and it's an old dual core tablet for memory so it's not quick at all uh, so I was a little bit concerned that maybe this would lag however I haven't found that as you can see when I was just revving there like it's pretty instantaneous that red light comes on when I need to shift um, you can set this up two ways you can set it up via USB which is probably the quickest however I have this set up via Wi-Fi so as long as your computer and your tablet are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network I mean this just sends a signal to the router then the router sends a signal to the computer I just want to see so I got traction control up on the screen when I press this to go traction control up that should be 7 pretty much instantly yeah that's like instant and I have these buttons set up to vibrate as well so when I press the button it's actually vibrating my steering wheel a little bit to let me know that I've pressed the button which is really cool and then anyway from there once that's set up via Wi-Fi or USB you just practically click on the game you're wanting to play set up a dashboard for it and you're good to go you just load the game and it's there and then you can be on your merry little way uh, racing Lando Norris and crashing Max Verstappen obviously not not on purpose of course I don't condone that secretly maybe I do if it's Max but you didn't hear that from me if you have any questions or anything about sim dashboard that I missed let me know I'll try to explain it um, try to answer your questions but uh, I thought I'd just share that uh, because why didn't I do this sooner I have no idea it's a cheap little add-on but yet it is so is worth so much more in my opinion but anyway thanks for watching this video everybody hit that like button if you liked it subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video